Welcome back. A second part here in my Sim Toolkit Pro. Uh, preparing for a flight kind of series and today we want to talk about weather. Not that I haven't done it already. Unfortunately, my microphone decided to stop its uh, service and I didn't realize so I recorded actually two parts with nothing on it. Um, just uh, moving pictures. And uh, yeah, so now I have to go and repeat everything again. And that is, um, yeah, it requires a lot of patience when that happens. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of time wasted, you know, and it's not that I have that much time to do these things. So, yeah, the elements are against me, it seems. But anyway, I hope I cover everything I did in the previous parts, but I'll try anyway. Weather in Sim Toolkit Pro. I've clicked on a little field just on the lower right corner. Uh, if you enter any IKEO code and then you press either the meta or the TAF, you actually get current meta or, or terminal area forecast information about the airport that you are in. Now this only helps you if you're not um, flying in some simulated time, but if you actually fly real time and uh, want to run also run with real weather because only then these uh, metas and TAFs are for you uh, something that you can use in your flight. But very simple, if you want to know what the conditions are on a particular airport, especially when you're flying online, down there is the quickest way, it's always there. So the other thing um, Sim Toolkit Pro has is this weather tab and basically what you can do, I'm not sure exactly if that works for prepared as well, I'm hoping it does, but uh, here uh, you can basically, oh, hang on, can I switch settings? Oh, yeah, let me switch to prepared. Um, let's see if that, I just wanted to check if uh, it doesn't look like, yeah, okay. Yeah, there is no install of prepared here. So I, w w I was wondering if this weather mode works in prepared as well, but I have a feeling it doesn't. I need I need to verify that. Okay. So at the moment, this is for X-Plane only, apparently. Okay. So weather mode, you can run real weather. In order to do that, you need to actually um, set up your X-Plane in, in the weather system. You can use custom weather from an from a folder um, and then you need to use the file meta.rwx which is in the explain root folder you will find it there meta.rwx you have to set this as the weather mode custom yeah and be give, be careful that you do not run any kind of plugins or or um, lua scripts that might override um, the weather and also not compatible with Active Sky. So if you use Active Sky, turn this off because it won't it won't uh, work in that case. The nice thing about this is you can decide whether to have default. It's probably NOAA based weather or use Watson weather, which is also NOAA based. But there is a certain time delay between the two. So if you're if you're flying online, it actually makes sense to um, use Watson weather for that. Okay. And there's a spoken ATIS system. So if you're running a simulator and you tune your COM1 to 122.10, you will get a spoken ATIS uh, with the current weather conditions as it is uh, created by this, by this tool. You can actually create completely custom weather. You cannot save it though. Um, I'm not sure if it persists it uh, from session to session. I haven't tried that yet, but... Um, you could actually create a completely custom your own weather situation if you want or you use one of those predefined uh, presets clear weather cloudy weather light rain heavy rain stormy snowy if you're in the simulator which i'm not and you press one of these the weather will change instantaneously to what you've selected here okay uh, real weather then turns off if you want to go back to real weather you just have to turn it on and then it will load the, the latest real weather that it has uh, you could actually prevent it from uh, updating your weather during approach. When the speed is below 170 and when the altitude is below 5000, it will stop weather updates. 
that might help because it could be a bit of a bummer uh, if you get a, a wind shear due to changing weather. I'd leave it off for the moment, um, but um, yeah, because I'm not sure what happens when you're on the airport. I had some strange thing that the weather actually didn't update, so it could be poss possibly that uh, it was uh, using this mode and therefore did not update the weather, but I'm not sure. So, but you don't need to, to use this, okay? So if you have Active Sky or something, no problem, turn this off. Or you can use the Explain built-in weather as well, which is also okay. The combination of Watson weather and real weather actually gives you something that Explain cannot give you, and that is that the weather reports come from the Watson servers and therefore are the Watson weather. There can be discrepancies between what Explain uh, puts in as weather and what Watson has as the current ambient weather for an airport. Uh, the other thing um, where you have weather information is here is the Meta and TAF. So when you have created a flight plan like I did here, you can use the um, Meta and the TAF tab. Okay. Um, also here, very easy to get the current weather. I mean, you basically also could look at the charts because this is a SimBrief flight plan and it actually allows you to look at the SimBrief uh, charts here. All right, let's do this away, okay. Um, yeah, and that is basically it. Um, when we go to the live map, what you can actually do is you can activate the precipitation and what we see is at the moment in Germany, the weather is pretty bad. So there's a lot of rain coming along. Um, going from west to east, uh, rain that is urgently needed. There's not that much here in Berlin, but uh, you never know. These things here might come over to Berlin and provide it with some rain as well. Uh, we need this urgently because it has been extremely dry due to the extremely nice weather, um, which was a bit of a bummer anyway. You, you're, you're confined to home uh, isolation here and then you look out and you see lovely weather, the longest stretch of, of good weather and dry weather that I can remember so early in the year and I wasn't able to really go out and go into the Alps or do all the kind of things I would do normally when there is such a weather. So I actually don't mind looking out the window and seeing rain and clouds because at least I wouldn't go out with this bad weather. <laughs> so fantastic here weather display, okay. Um, just another another weather-related option that you have with SIM Toolkit Pro. What you can also do is define yourself one of these browser charts and um, do the, the windy.com thing, right? So you can use the satellite chart. Here you see the current uh, sets of clouds that are here in and around Europe and um, you can get the wind charts. So if you don't know windy.com, yeah, go there. This is the best weather site that I know. And I still meet people that have never seen it before and then they're completely fascinated when they see what this uh, fantastic um, web page is. It even has forecasts, so you could actually move forward and it will give you an, um, sort of an indication what the weather will be like um, in the next days. And it looks like the weather isn't going to be overly great over the next couple of days, but that's okay. As I say, it was really time that we get some rain and that uh, all the dryness also for the agriculture is um, gets at least some rain. It might not be enough anyway. So windy.com, define this as one of the web pages here. You go here and you can actually select this. There, there are predefined uh, URLs, so I use this here, windy.com. And there you go you have the current weather situation. Now, windy.com only makes sense if you run with real weather at real times, okay? If you do like uh, weather from a long time ago, um, things like that, it won't help you because um, you cannot go back that far. So you can't really see weather from, from uh, uh, six months ago or something. But uh, for online flying, the current times and so on, that is actually a very good uh, source of information. And that's about it uh, when it comes to weather. 
Yeah, I know it's now a bit shorter than it was on my original one, and I'm trying to remember what I said in the previous one. But that's the that's what happens when things go wrong like this. In the end, I will never be able to repeat what I what I all did in in the first one. Uh, I think I covered all areas that that I showed in the other. I might have told you a bit more, maybe a bit longer, maybe it was a bit more drawn out anyway. So um, that's at the moment. I can't remember anything else that I could show you with weather. Um, but you can see Sim Toolkit Pro, one-stop shop for everything, yeah, including very good uh, weather information in, in several areas. Your flight plan, your um, here the charts here uh, in, the, in the moving map and so on and so forth. Really fantastic stuff. Um, he used to have wind in here as well, but it, it looks like um, the wind stuff isn't, isn't available anymore. Yeah, I think he took that out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I think that was it. Weather and Sim Toolkit Pro. Until next time.